As for you, son of man, your people who talk together about you by the walls and at the doors of the houses, say to one another, each to his brother, Come and hear what the word is that comes from the Lord. And they come to you as people come, and they sit before you as my people. And they hear what you say, but they will not do it. For with lustful talk in their mouths they act. Their heart is set on their gain. And behold, you are to them like one who sings lustful songs with a beautiful voice and plays well on an instrument. For they hear what you say, but they will not do it. When this comes, and come it will, then they will know that a prophet has been among them. I speak unto thee this day, and I say when the people are thoroughly repentant, then I say they can accept my reproof. But I say when a people are wise in their own eyes, I say they will hate my reproof, they will hate my correction, I say they will reject the same. And I say it is because they have been given over in their minds, in their imaginations, in their wills to pride. And I say they have contempt for the way that I will guide them, which is the humility way. Now I say this day that I will have been God and giving the call to all to repent, why is it so? I say it is that they would turn from the darkness, the evil, the iniquity of their own way and walk uprightly in my way. And I say that when I call men and women to repent and they will obey me, then I say they can accept reproof from me. But I say when any man or woman refuses repentance, I say they are literally re refusing the humility way of my life. Now I say this day that I don't have been God can easily guide men who are willing in the way of my righteousness, my truth, and my glory reveal. But I say, when men are unwilling to be guided by me, where do they end? I say, they end in a ditch, they end in a mire, they end in destitution of soul. And I say, they end up separated from me. Now I say, this day that I don't have been God never called my people to separation, to estrangement from me, not at all. But I say that I've called the ones who will love me and serve me to the way that I offer and provide. That is, the way that is newness of life, the way that is mercy and truth, and the way that is peace provided. For I say it is me, the living God, who does offer to the ones who serve me the way wherein they are guided by me. But I say when a people are far from me and going in a way of rejection of my reproof and correction, I say they end in a mire of their own making. I say there are endless multitudes who live and die and perish in sin because they refuse to repent unto me. And I say they despise, literally despise, being corrected and instructed and guided in the way of righteousness. They want no part of the same. And I say in the process of it all they prove they are unworthy of me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, am at this time giving forth the call to all men to repent, and yes, they are meant to obey. That is, they are meant to repent, to turn from the wickedness, the darkness, the pride, the rebellion, and the stubbornness of their own way. And when any man or woman will hear my call and obey the same, then I say they are found pleasing me. But I say when men will stubbornly, proudly refuse the call to repent, I say they take themselves in the place of desolation and despair. Now I say in this wayward, perverse, vile, and wicked generation, I say you will hear again and again and again endless stories of woe. That is, you will hear of the ones who are destitute of soul, the ones who are suffering anguish in this life because they have rejected me. And I say you will hear again and again and again of the stupidity, the darkness, the evil that they are in, why is it so? I say it is because they have chosen a way of estrangement, a way of destitution of soul, and yes, they will be found always in the same. Now I say this day that I will have been God to intend that men would be willing to accept my reproof, and I say when men repent, then I say they are willing to accept my correction in their lives. But I say, when men are unrepentant and wise in their own conceit, then I say they are far from me. And yes, they will be devoured, destroyed, and overwhelmed because they have chosen the way of death rather than the way of life. That is, they have chosen to be far from what it is that I would have given unto them. Now I say this day, be thankful that I, living God, do offer to the ones who will serve me 
the way that is upright, the way that is beautiful, the way that I provide. And I say it is me, the living God, who will offer to the ones who will walk in obedience my light upon the path. For I say when any people will be willing to accept reproof and correction, then of course they can be guided in the direction I give. But I say when men are stubbornly resisting me, they are resisting the way of life. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do see the hideous condition that men have gotten themselves into because of sin. And I say that I likewise see the darkness they are bound in because they want their own way. But I say when you really consider the end of their way, I say it is nothing but damnation of soul. So for all of their wise conceit, their arrogance, their resistance towards me, what do they gain? I say they gain hell for eternity and there they will remain unable to escape. But I say that the man or the woman will truly humble themselves unto me and cry out. I say they are guided forth in the newness of life that I provide. And yes, they are given the joyous presence of my spirit in their lives, and they are ever able to rejoice in the same. Now I say, therefore, this day, be glad that you can continue to look unto me, to believe me, to trust me day by day. And I say, be glad that you can be brought forth in the blessedness, the strength, the truth that I give to my own. Now I say, this day, that I, the living God, am at this time giving forth the call to all men to repent. And I say, if it were not needed, I would not give forth such a call. But I say, when I look upon the sons of men to see the shape they are in, I say it is frightening to behold. That is, that men have been so deviated, so permeated, so perverted by sin, that they do not even know what they are. And I say, they are locked into rebellion and pride and stubbornness, wanting their own way. But I say the stupidity of their own way, it is merely the way of demon forces that want to drive men into damnation of soul. For I say that the war for souls is continual, and I say when men do not recognize the forces of evil that instigate them, I say they cooperate fully and they are mindless dudes. That is, in the sense that they are taken into captivity, into slavery and bondage, and I say that the only release is to repent unto me. For I say, when men will repent and return to me, then I say they are brought forth in my way. But I say, when men are ever rejecting my reproof, my correction, my instruction, of course they end in a ditch. Now I say, this day that I, the living God, do call you to be thankful each day, that you can be guided, that you can be reproved, that you can be corrected by me. For I say, if you are indeed accepting correction, if you are indeed accepting instruction, then you are guided forth by me. Now I say, when you look upon the big stir that men will make over the affairs of this life, yet I say they have no concern for eternity at all, where do they end? I say they end in the pit, they end in damnation, destruction of soul, because they have no concern for where they spend their eternity. And instead of seeking to repent and make it right with me that they can be found abiding in me, I say they automatically go in the way of death. And I say they are loving it so, believing they have gained something, they have gained nothing at all. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call men to be fools, stubborn, proud fools, who are determined to have their way. But I say that I call men to repent, to repent, to repent unto me each and every day, that they can indeed be guided forth in the humility way that I provide and learn cooperation with me. For I say if any man or woman will push down the will of self to take up the will that I intend for their lives, then I say they can be pleasing me. But I say when men and women will be insistent and persistent in the will of self, they are advocating the very will of death in their lives. That is, they are promoting the thing that will bring them destruction. They are promoting the thing that will bring them damnation of soul. And oh, what fools they are, for I say they are far from me. Now I say this day, if you repent and seek to please me, then I say, be willing to accept my reproof in your life. That is, be willing to listen, to obey what it is that I desire and require. 
for I say, if you will indeed be choosing the way of life and truth and mercy that I give to my own, you are ever guided in me. And yes, you are given the hope, the peace, the strength, the safety of who I am. Now I say, therefore, this day, be glad that you can continue to believe, to receive, and be ever guided forth by me. And I say, be thankful that I will give to you the light upon the path, the mercy, the truth, and the peace of who I am. For I say, it is a wondrous, a beautiful, a blessed thing to be guided forth by me. That is, to be given the light always, for it is me, the living God, who gives to my own the same. Now I say, in an adulterous, a wayward, a perverse generation, I say that I, the living God, do an astounding thing. That is, I do bring forth the people who truly repent and learn what it is to be faithful unto me. For I say, it is a joy unto me when men and women will choose my way rather than identity with the generation that they are in. That is, when they will indeed choose the life, the truth, the hope, the mercy of who I am, and be brought forth by me. Now I say, therefore, this day be thankful for the privilege to believe, the privilege to receive, and be guided forth by me. And I say, be thankful that you can indeed each day draw of the truth, the light, the mercy, the hope of who I am. That is, that you can be brought forth in that which I give thee time and again, which is my light always that you can be brought forth in the truth, the power, the strength, the blessedness that can only be found through me. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way of all righteousness and truth, the way of mercy and hope, and the way that is my peace provided. Therefore I say, remain in union, communion with me, ever guided forth in my way, that is, able to perceive and receive of me time and again, for I am the one who will give you the way of life. And I say that I am the one who will guide you forth as you continue to humble yourselves unto me. Now I say that the proud, the defiant, the stubborn, the rebellious, who are wise in their own conceit, I say they will pay for the foolery they have given themselves unto. That is, in thinking that they could stand against me, that they could live in disobedience towards me, that they could have their way. For I say that they are choosing the way of death, the way of damnation, no matter how wise they think they are. And I say through their pride they're choosing to walk afar off from me. Now I say this day that I don't have been God am at this time giving forth the call to all men to repent, to accept my reproof, my correction, and my direction in their lives. And I say that the ones who will hear and obey and turn from the negative, the death way that they have been in will find the way of life in me. That is, they will enter into the process of eternal life, knowing me as Savior and Lord. And I say that they will be guided in the same each day as they continue in repentance, revolution unto me. Now I say this day, do not grow weary with the truth nor the principles that are found in the same, but I say instead seek to obey. That is, that you can be uplifted, coming forth, directed, guided, and ever shown the light upon the path. For I say it is me, the living God, who is able, it is me, the living God, who will bring me forth in the truth, the light, the mercy, time and again. And it is me, the living God, who will cause you to be uplifted in the blessedness that I offer day by day. Now I say, therefore, this day, do not look to any other way, any other source, but I say, keep your vision upon me. And I say, as you do so, you will be brought forth in the way that I give to my own. That is, the way that is life eternal, the way that is truth and hope and safety unto all who cleave to me. That is, the ones who believe, who repent, who walk humbly before me each and every day. Another fatality and injuries reported in this 50-car pileup just outside Ann Arbor.